Okay, we're off. Right, now, got to focus a few of these practice games. There's some serious errors from my part, just not focusing on the, the, the game. And really need to knock that on the head. It's not the creative brain thinking going overload. It's just a lazy thinking thing going on. Okay, so this is, I don't usually open with like a D type palm type maneuver. So this is already a little bit eerie for me. Let's go here. Let's try to get it into a normalized position as best possible if I can. here looks a bit congested for white themselves so that's a bonus and just castle excuse me just push up can expect the knight to be attacking the bishop at some point so basically this uh, this area is all jammed down now so it's he might want to be opening it up so that he gets his white square bishop what's happening here so we'll take here because we're on the queen first and just going to attack his knight see if he wants to capture or not or does he want to open up his pawn here mm -mm 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 -mm. or is the knight coming into the party to attack the bishop it's got him castled, so that's not too bad for us. If we take the knight, then we win a pawn, don't we? In a sense, go here. It's a little secret stealthy type situations. But I know I fall for it as well. You know, you think that you've got a good pattern, but then you end up losing a pawn. Or two, depending on. So we've gone for a long pause now looking at so the knight has gone backwards so it's gone out to come back in he's wanting to give this pawn space it looks like they're wanting to start an attack straight away if we pushed here i can just envisage them pushing down and locking down so that's not really what we want if we pushed here same thing it's just going to push down and that's it so i think we need to just play nice and steady now and just push this pawn up to meet and greet the attack that is it, I think that's coming down uh, it's changed his mind he's gone soft on that side so again if we push here he just pushes down so it doesn't work for us this might work because if we push here if he pushes down then we can at least take a pawn so I'm actually going to push now that we've got support of this pawn here so I'm going to capture if he does capture back again, we win the plus, in a sense. Oh, for sure. <laughs> me. I didn't even spot that. I'm too busy talking. Oh, let's grab here. Two pawns for a bishop. Nope, not today. Let's go here. Now they're going crazy because they're at the upper piece, a minor piece. But they've let the queen do all the work, so fingers crossed now. Oh, uh, yeah, so we can go and grab this pawn here. They know that we're coming here, so this bishop is ready to come here to defend. Maybe swinging the knight up. Maybe getting the rook up here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, he's there uh, blocking stuff off. So let's go here, attacking the rook. And get the rook up, like we said. I feel like I'm going to get my pieces trapped. Is there something else before I actually go and do that? Yeah, there is that check on the king, but the bishop is just waiting to just come running. Oh, what am I doing? I'm <laughs> too busy talking. He's on my queen. 
He's on my queen and his queen is on my knight. Let's go here. Hold his rook to ransom for a bit. So I know I fall foul when I'm doing the talking. I'm, I'm talking so much that I'm missing out. So he doesn't want to be held to ransom there. Like I said, his bishop's going to come here. I'm feeling like I need to do this, but my knight is under attack. Let's go here. So we're dancing around this diagonal because the bishop can defend. Probably expect maybe a doubling up on the knight. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Oh, he's got an X ray through. He's got an X ray through. So, knee jerk reaction, just defend. I do find though that when I'm on a sort of winning streak or whatever, um, I tend to then end up playing some really kind of strong players, even though I make mistakes myself, you know what I mean? But the strength level seems to just bump up a little bit. And the bishop's down at last. Okay, what can we do with this situation then? Is there anything that we can realistically do? Probably need to take our queen off of this x-ray for some reason at this moment in time. Let's attack in the pawn, so let's attack the knight. He might feel some comfort in coming down here, but probably going back here. He wants to get his rook into the game, so his rook is probably going to attack the queen, actually. Because he's attacking the higher piece if he does that. Where do we go from there? You can always hide in here, attacking the bishop. Queen's defending. No, he's actually gone there, so we could still go there with the queen, or we could get. this rook here or oh, we could attack a higher piece with a lesser piece let's attack a higher piece with a lesser piece advancing the pawns and then push onto the bishop but the bishop looks like it's got plans maybe oh, maybe Need to stop flicking on the pieces. I'm going to make a mistake. So this is one of those games where the opponent's got like more pieces on the board than myself. But at the end of the day, depending on woohoo, it all depends how you utilize your pieces. Now behind this is this. And just push onto the bishop like we said. Don't want to overthink. If we can make the smaller pieces do a lot more work, then it gives them more things to think about. Hopefully condensing the areas that can move around, he says. <laughs> Time-wise, they're on a minute and 40 something. We're on three minutes 40. Don't know how that's happened, but maybe we're trying to focus our energies on attacking higher pieces with lesser pieces, and it's giving them something to think about. Back again, this uh, knight's held to ransom. So we could take the bishop. Knights do hunt the bishops in our mantra. We are a piece down. So I'm just seeing if there's any kind of magic that can happen. Uh, maybe we just need to bring this rook across. Just bringing the rook to do a simple ownership of a file, I think. We have plenty of time, so now they're coming for the exchange, so we would win a pawn if we did that, but then he would win a check on our king with his queen. Because it would be take, pawn takes, and if we take them... Yeah, okay. So maybe we can just allow them to 
Knights hunt the bishops though in our mantra. We take. We take. He takes with either piece. Touch uh, on the king. King moves. Doesn't look too meaty, does it? Knights hunt the bishops. Knights hunt the bishops. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. Let's stick with it. Doesn't look glossy, but <clears throat> let's stick with it. Checks first. Checks, check, 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 check. Mm, push onto the knight. Knight jumps and attacks the pawn on the far side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go here. If this knight's wanting to jump there, we can take. But I can picture this rook coming to attack. So I think he's still going to get that position. <coughs> They're on a few seconds now, 40, 39, so fingers crossed they're not a bullet specialist that can find fantastic moves in short spaces of time. Oh, he's going to discover check on my queen situation. Don't want to take too long. And also on my rook, isn't it? So if we go there, so when he moves, he's going to be on my rook. So it's probably going to come from my rook here, isn't it? Okay. It's got 19 seconds left. I'm not sure there's much you can do with no increment. But I've seen some speedy players play it. Oh, what's going on? Oh, that was wrong. He's got his knight there, you idiot. Oh, my gosh. How to spoil it. Six seconds. Oh. Five seconds. Oh my life, how to mess it up. Oh, can they do it in one second? No, the shock factor of. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, I totally messed that end bit up there. What was that all about? Yeah, I think I was just glorifying in the fact that I was winning on time, so I didn't have to do anything. Um, Where are we at? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, do, 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 do. Cracky whites out and out winning plus seven. Ooh. Yeah, what was that? That was a dummy move. Didn't need to do that. Didn't need to do that. What could I have done? Not. I'm, I don't think I would have brought it down here. I wouldn't have known the rationale for that. I was looking for something meaty. Something to attack. If I come here, then he gets a check on the king. I've already moved the queen out of the way. So I can't take the pawn because his queen's going to come there. It's only got a few seconds, so he's got to check on the king here. Moving out of the way, obviously. Um, then he's got to check on me here. But then we can take. Takes. He's only got a few seconds left, don't forget. So, would he, be, would he find these? Yeah, he's, he won't have enough time to do all that. It's too fancy, is that? Yeah, yeah. Good stuff.